Hi guys, I'm Elle and welcome back to Just Ironic. As you may have seen by the title of this video, today I do want to talk about why I'm afraid to talk about sustainable fashion on YouTube. This video was inspired by my previous videos and by observing other sustainable fashion YouTubers and how I felt very uncomfortable every time I wanted to make a video in the recent month. So I just wanted to talk about it and be honest and be transparent about my journey because obviously this is a sustainable fashion YouTube channel and I want to be fully transparent about everything that's going on so I wanted to talk about my personal experience and hopefully this will help anyone else that's thinking or is making sustainable fashion content on YouTube so stay tuned for the rest of the video. So the first thing that I'm concerned about when I make YouTube videos on this channel is that I never want to force anyone to care. I feel like I am such a small YouTuber at the moment that I'm just reaching out to close family members and friends and I feel like sharing and creating this content is only pushing them to care about this content or forcing them to participate or even to just, you know, engage with my content when I tell them, hey, do you want to, like, watch it or do you want to engage or give it a like? You know how we just ask people for support in the beginning. So, as a small YouTuber right now, I would hate to shove any information to people that don't want to watch it. And obviously, people do have free will in deciding if they want to engage on my content, if they want to watch me. And even if you're watching right now, like, that may just be your sole decision. But I have this unsettling feeling that I'm just pushing information down people's throat because it is definitely an alternative lifestyle and something that is not normative in our everyday society. Now the other concern that came up for me is I hate to feel like I'm a know-it-all um, in the sustainable fashion field and if you're someone that is dedicated in talking about sustainable fashion or is an expert in sustainable fashion and you're always explaining it to other people I don't know if you feel this way but I always feel like I come across as a know-it-all someone that feels like she knows everything in the fashion industry and I would hate to push issues on other people and to make them feel ignorant or to feel guilty especially because I'm so passionate about sustainable fashion and how it's an alternative to problems in the fashion industry specifically fast fashion I would hate to come across as like I know all the answers and I know all the complexities of sustainable fashion because it is a very complex issue so I, I would never want to be like yeah come to me if you have any questions because I honestly don't have all the answers and I would never want anyone to just take my word as like oh I know everything and you know come to me for all the answers and I would never want to shove myself as the advocate of expertise because I definitely am not there so I would never want anyone to think that of me and so that is very on my mind when I'm making videos because I don't have all the answers and I don't want you to believe that I know it all. And this very much leads into me educating people and I would hate to misinform people especially because I said I don't have all the information so it is kind of scary if I say something and people think it's true just because I thought it was true at the moment it may not necessarily have been true in a whole or true in itself whatsoever but just to think that I've spread misinformation about something I'm so passionate about can happen we're imperfect so I always fear that when I make content or talk to people about this that I never give wrong information but it's almost inevitable but that's something that often stops me from you know full engaging in sustainable fashion in creating content and creating events because I would hate to mess this up for anyone to give them false information and then they completely lose trust in the whole topic in itself. And then the other concern I have about talking about sustainable fashion is that I don't want it to come across as exclusive. I know that sustainable fashion in itself is very much targeted towards a niche audience, which is white women. They're usually college educated around 25 to 35 around there. So I never want this topic to feel like it's only for one type of person. And I don't want the information to just be geared towards one type of or one target audience. I want this information to be accessible to everyone. I want guys to watch this video. I want all sorts of English speakers to, you know, enjoy my videos. I want them to come away feeling like they learned something. So I never want this to be like, oh, it's a privilege to learn about this because 
in a sense it is but i want these videos and my content and the information in itself to be very much accessible so i fear that my videos are very much geared towards people my age or how people look like me so that's the tricky part about coming up with videos like how can i make them entertaining how can i make them accessible how can i make them informative and how can i make them open to a, a diverse audience even though that may not always be possible because i don't know how to reach everyone so that's something in the content creation world that i struggle with with sustainable fashion and this leads me into my next topic which is being scared i i am very much someone that's scared and being judged by people especially because i care about this issue so much and i want to do it well but at the same time i would hate to see anyone not like what i do to you know give the thumbs down or like do a negative comment or you know see something that doesn't necessarily advocate on my behalf and what i'm doing or celebrating what i believe in i am fearful about the negative feedback about people not agreeing with me even when I'm making this video right now I'm just like what will people think of me like they're just gonna think I'm scared they're just gonna think I'm hesitant that I'm just not wanting to do anything but those are just like negative thoughts in my head and it's because I'm scared I'm scared that I'm not gonna come across perfectly I'm not gonna come across as the most eloquent eloquent that people <laughs> ironic much that people won't agree with me or people won't like what I say and that's just very much something that's coming from me and it's manifesting into my passion and also at the same time what if no one cares like I can be talking to a camera 24 7 but what if no one watches like at the end of the day I'm just kind of like do they care did I did this help them in any way did I just talk or waste their time for no reason and I would hate for that to happen and that just makes me fearful that I'm just, you know, talking to the void and no one's listening and no one's ever going to listen. But again, I feel like that really affects me and the content that I'm making and I wonder if other people feel this way as well. It also brings up the question, why do I even bother? Why do I bother making content that has such a niche audience that will probably not garner a lot of attention on any of my social medias because it is such a small community right now and there is so little mass media on it. So why do I bother making content for something that, you know, is so small and will probably not give me likes, not give me follows, not give me a lot of like opportunities. But at the same time, I have to reconsider that it is an important topic and because no one's talking about it, it's really important. It's so much more better, at least in my perspective, to engage in sustainable fashion instead of being like everyone else where I'm just doing like fast fashion hauls and talking about mindless trends that no one really can afford but that's what gets the likes you know it's that balance of like fighting between like what you care about and what everyone else is doing because you want to be relevant but how do you stay relevant and then you're passionate but also it's like is anyone really does anyone really care so that's that's what i'm struggling with and if you're relating to anything i'm saying in this video please let me know in the comments i feel like that will help build community and build dialogue and the last place I want to talk about, about why I'm afraid to talk about sustainable fashion on YouTube, it's more personal. I think a lot of YouTubers deal with this, is that sometimes I get so self-conscious about my voice. Like, I can be talking about something that I'm so passionate about, like the corporate social responsibility part of brands that are producing retail garments. But at the same time, I'm like, does my voice sound okay? Like, is my voice too deep? and i start getting more conscious of the things that i don't like about myself like my voice than the things that i'm actually trying to convey and also as a sustainable fashion person in general fashion in itself is still really important so i am still thinking like how do i look is my hair okay is my clothing okay is this shirt too pink for my skin tone um do i look trendy enough am i fashionable enough so all these things are still on my mind as i make videos like any other person online and also the last point i want to make is that i don't want to receive any hate sustainable fashion right now is still very much a conceptual and theoretical issue that has a lot of videos on youtube and it's really not leading into practical application right now as far as i've seen personally but if you have please let me know and also a lot of the platform is still on social media of how you present your values and your life through 
perfect pictures but life is pretty messy and I don't really see a lot of content around real people doing real stable fashion. We need more practical action and we need to see more examples of how we can live sustainable fashion out in everyday life and to turn it from this concept or this new alternative idea into just an everyday normal thing and because it's still a new thing and if I'm talking about it people are going to be like oh like she's she thinks differently than me she's doing something different and a lot of people may not like that and some people may resonate and that's my fear of like getting hate because people don't resonate with it because obviously it's a new topic and it's something that people are still processing and I don't want to cause anyone discomfort so I'm just anticipating people pushing back for me because this is not something that is in mainstream and usually because we think as a group think having an alternative lifestyle and thinking in a different way doesn't isn't always accessible to people it's not pleadable yet so I hope that the videos that I make are not too intrusive in people's way of life but also at the same time I hope to inspire them and to make them consider how they can live their life in a more sustainable way at the end of the day the point is I don't want to create any discomfort but at the same time I want them to awaken to the problems in a smooth way that allows them to learn and to process what's going on through me through these videos and yeah hopefully no one hates me for it and we can just all learn together so in some there is very much an anticipation about how will people receive this information how will people think of me whether people will consider me more privileged or more exclusive to something versus others and whether i'm coming across the right way and if i'm saying the right things but those are all just fears and inhibitions but i do want to talk about it and i do want to be honest about it because it does affect my role in sustainable fashion and how I see myself so if you resonate with any of this please let me know I would love to hear your thoughts about it and if you agree or disagree let me know so thank you so much I appreciate your time and take care guys bye